Rachel, what's your opinion on Raheem to City for 49 mil? Like, Travis, go. What's your opinion, man? What are you saying? I feel like the only man happy in this whole situation right now is Raheem Sterling himself. Like, he's got a good deal. I don't know. I, I'm hearing he's... I'm hearing he's on, like, double the wages. Neymar's currently on at Barca or something crazy like that. What is it? What, what are his actual wages? Because this is very interesting right now. I don't know, but I'm guessing it's 250 upwards. Oh, for Raheem Sterling. Well, unproven. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, he's unproven. He's never... He's Ooh. not done anything in his... His career. wages will be around £200,000 a week. See what I mean? It will be accurate. Oh my god! I don't, wow. He's not done anything in his career. He's he, currently on thirty-five k a week, and he 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 was offered a hundred like a hundred k like last season, wasn't he? And he turned it down. What? How old is he? Twenty now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's twenty. I, I I don't think he's done anything in his career so far to be demanding the wages he's. To even be moving to Man City for that much money at this point is a bit crazy. I don't know. I feel like I, I went on Twitter immediately. Yeah, that's always my first like source in it. Whenever I hear any news or like something gets mentioned, I quickly jump on Twitter. First thing I see is people like, ha 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 ha. This is an amazing deal for Liverpool. This is such a good deal for Liverpool. Liverpool have smashed it. Brendan Rodgers has smashed it. Ozil sold for forty-two million. Blah, 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 blah. Like. Matt has sold for 32 million or 30 million or whatever he sold for. Like, this is an amazing deal. And then I'm thinking about it and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm not decided on whether it's a good deal yet because you look at what they did with Suarez, yeah? Suarez, like, they had all the opportunity to capitalise on him by getting maybe one or two good players. Liverpool went out there and just signed, like, four or five players. It seemed to me like they were panic buying. And Brendan Rodgers, it seems like that was his first experience at, like, top flight signing players like on that level and he just didn't capitalize on the potential that he, he had there like you have so you have a gold mine of money and you're going to go out there and start spending money on like what Ricky Lambert Markovic so to me I don't think I can't see how Liverpool are going to replace Sterling with a player who's better or as good as him and looking at it for the for the price 50 mil nowadays it's not really yeah, 50 mil is 50 mil, isn't it? Like, it's nothing, man. Back in the day, I was buying me Zidane, bro. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that Liverpool are going to go out there and get a player better than Raheem Sterling. For that money. I think we can't like really. I can't, we can't really say yet. Like, I think when they brought in Firmino, like his potential for potential, basically, isn't it? Mm. So like, unless he comes in and bangs straight away then that can like, eradicate this whole conversation. Like, it could be a good deal in like four months' time sort of thing. I brought up this point earlier, yeah, when we were talking. If you can't replace the player that you're willing to sell, even if it's for a lot of money, see, for me seeing Bale disappear for 80 mil and then Tottenham suddenly flop the next season, Suarez and the exact same thing happen, it's not worth it, man. It's not mm. worth it. And people are going to say, well, you know, he wanted to leave anyway. If you're gonna, if you're willing to spend money and bringing in four or five other players, use that money just to give that player more wages. It sounds bad, but I've seen it happen with Rooney, and Rooney's chilling, man. Rooney's chilling, like yeah, I ain't heard It's worked, bro. It's worked, isn't it? Well, bang goals, still. Like. I just feel if Rogers was to give him that much money, or even one hundred fifty thousand, even two hundred fifty thousand, it would just create problems in the dressing room that you don't need. Like, I just think. Because say, say they gave him 250000 a week, boom, then everyone else in the dressing room is going to be like, wait a minute. 200, 200. He's on 200 now, but that's probably minus bonuses and all that, isn't it? Like, well, who's, the top, who's the top paid player at Liverpool now? It's probably someone like Henderson. Or maybe Storage, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't think it'll be any, I don't think it'll be that high, the highest paid player over there, you know. Oh, I'm, Coutinho, I'm guessing. Because they you know, last year, didn't they? Coutinho? Yeah. I still don't think it'd be over a hundred thousand though. They they've got some modest wages over there. So if you were to pay Sterling modest wages, you know. Yeah, they have like their <laughs> wages. They ain't got the Champions <laughs> League. <laughs> they ain't got they ain't got that Champions League money to be like here. This is what I'm saying, you're not even in Champions League, yeah. And all these everyone's like, yeah, such a good deal. When you're not in Champions League, you don't have the you don't have the um 
what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have the privilege to be able to dabble with your players like that. Unless you're Man United. You need to hold on to your stars, man. Man United can do that. Probably one of the only clubs that can even do that without no Champions League football. Like, they took the piss last summer. With I some... think the worst, the worst part of that Sterling deal is like, say he develops into a sick player. They've strengthened a rival. I'm, I'm, I'm just not happy with the way he's acted in this whole situation. It's not right. Yeah, but why are people... Like, come on, man. What are you expecting from a footballer? Bro? Like, come on, Rooney. I've seen him do the exact same thing twice and get what he wanted twice. Trust, trust. The exact same thing. It's like, talking about he wants to leave and, you know, he's not happy at the club and, like, taking ages to sign a new contract. Bro, Rooney, it, like, Rooney's, right. got, Rooney's got international goals. He's... Rooney's got international goals. He's played Champions League year in year out. He's better place to win it. Won titles. He's won Champions. He's won the Champions League. Like the point is, yeah, the has done. Have done I live in a position where they can start losing players where they know that players that they know are good. You've already lost Gerard this season, yeah. You lost Suarez at the end of last season. You're now going to get rid of Sterling. What's next? Like is Sturridge gone next? Like, like I think Liverpool. I don't think Liverpool sign. <laughs> Who can live with sign that's going to be better than Sterling with that amount of money? I, There's no one there, bro. It's all like bro, who the names get better, like I, unproven talent. I think Balassi could do a madness at Liverpool. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> bro, I'm not going to lie. Like if they if they got a good deal for Balassi, I think he would do all right there. But for how many years? I've been he hearing work? Pedro. How old is Pedro? He must be what 28, 29. Pedro, come on, bro. That old. I like Pedro. Yeah, he's younger than that, isn't it? Yeah, he is. He's a little With younger. Pedro, like 26. Yeah. <laughs> you need to Google that. I do. I, I, oh, Pedro will be decent. I'm he's not going to. He's 27. But he ain't going to go Liverpool, though, man. Nah, he's not going to go Liverpool. Go Liverpool. Barcelona to Liverpool, bro. You're li- Barcelona, that's a strong squad. You're not going to go to Liverpool. I think Balassi is the top, the best they can get right now. Seriously. <sighs> So this is what I'm saying. Like, is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. If, if you're going to sell Sterling and the best you can bring in is Balassi, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth selling for 50 mil. And it then Balassi, Liverpool are the kind of club that will buy Balassi for about 35 mil as well. No. They've got a really bad track record of signing. <laughs> <laughs> Their track record is bad, man. It's not... I heard that... I heard that 10 mil of the money... The Sterling money goes to QPR for what? Like, I think he was at QPR before, something like compensation or something. Selling oh, on kind of like the Fabregas to uh, to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so trade not, him, not even all fifty mil or forty nine mil. It's going kind of more around what thirty nine mil. Uh, to me, it's just I don't know. Man. I'm not going to jump in and be like, yeah, it's a good, it's a good sell or it's a good purchase. Well, it's a good purchase for City. At the moment, it's like. I think it's bad for both of them. Yeah, because... I, I reckon right now Sterling's happy. He's the happiest. Uh, yeah. like uh, Liverpool can't get a replacement. That's their side. And Man City, I've only brought him because he's English. That's the only reason. Because yeah. there's better players available in his position. For that homegrown. Uh, the homegrown rule, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think we could easily be talking in another two months after Sterling's had a great start and be like, "Wow, well, boy, this looks like he's gonna be good." But right now, I'm I think Sterling's gonna be good, man. I remember watching him for England, and he was the best player for our last tournament. So, but will he start for Man City week in, week out? I don't think like, he would. But then, is he better than I think he might. I think I prefer Sterling to Navas. You know, I'm not. I'm like, but he's he's not better than Nasri. I don't. Nasri and Silva, bro. They're like their first choice. Yeah. Wingers essentially, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Like think... again, Silva, World Cup winner. Nasri, like, loads of PL experience, Champions League experience, World Cup experience. He's won the league. Pretty sure he's won the league. Yeah, he's won the league, man, Nasri. Is it twice? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Sterling's not, he's not done anything yet. 49 mil on potential is a lot of money. Like, that's the kind of thing that's kind of ruining football at the moment. I think that's the biggest... 49 mil, 50 mil soon, it's not going to be yet. It's not... On potential. It was like a new 20 mil. It's going to be like the new 30 mil. You know, like 30 but, mil is like a good player. 30 mil means you can get a good player with 30 mil. Like, that's, it's now, the threshold has now been pushed up to like 50 mil. I remember when Arsenal, when Arsenal bought Reyes, and how much was that? That was like, 
seventeen or something. Seventy million, yeah. And it was like spla- that was splashing out. That was like awesome. What's going on, like, yo? And now we're up to the point where it's forty nine mil for potential. Like, don't get me wrong, Sterling he's a threat, but I don't know. I don't think it's even like forty nine on potential. It's forty nine on potential and the fact he's English. Yeah. yeah. Cause if you look at um, well, Memphis Depay, like, is Sterling that much better than Depay? I wouldn't, I I wouldn't say Memphis. so. Nah. I think Memphis is a great sign-in. Like, exactly. What double the price for Sterling? Like, I think at the moment Memphis is probably signing, probably signing of the season, at uh, signing of the summer so far. What you reckon? I think so. I don't think. You reckon like, that's a better, that's a better cheeky buy than check for ten mil. Overall package in terms of potential as well. Yeah. Yeah, because Czech, Czech, don't get me wrong. I, I, we've had this conversation before. I think Czech's a great keeper. Like, like that's a great keep. That's a great signing. But I like Ospina. I think Ospina's solid. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're, we're kinda, not, not much of an upgrade to Ospina, are we? Yeah, I don't think it is. Last I don't think it is. A lot of people would disagree, but I think Ospina was solid. Because they're looking at the name. That's why they would disagree. Yeah. yeah. The name of Peter Czech, like the prestige. Chelsea keeper for ten years. 11. I think Memphis has a high window, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I think back to the checkpoint. I think it's more than just like ability. Like you're buying a player that's got winning mentality as well to bring it to the dressing room, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I think it's the same as why we bought Schweinsteiger. I think it's sick. I think everyone's looking at it like he's gonna come in and play every single game. No, I don't think so. I think. Like last season, the only holding mid we had was Carrick. Yeah. Like it was injured quite a lot. Prone, so you just got two injury prone holding midfielders there. Yeah? I don't think they can play like 40 games a season, but I think what you would do is probably rotate them. Mm. Like, there's four titles to fight for, isn't it? But I, I think Man United could have got a bet. I'm not going to lie, I think they could have got a better player in that position than Schweinsteiger. I feel like Schweinsteiger's best years are behind him now. I feel like he's had his, his peak. I feel like Schweinsteiger's peak. Definitely. I think. I think. I, I don't know. I think it's decent. I they got rid of cleverly and bought in Schweinsteiger, so they kind of they've upgraded. They've clearly upgraded. Yeah. This is decent, and I think if they get Schneiderlin in there as well, I think that's 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 that whole situation almost. To see if they can. Who is there out there? But, like I'm hearing a couple of Liverpool fans talking about Royce, like this is FIFA or something, like. <laughs> Not gonna. Ask. Someone else told me earlier, like they feel like Royce is one of the only footballers in world football at the moment that doesn't seem to care about money. He seems to be happy. He's honouring his contract. He seems to be happy playing his football at Dortmund. Because he could be at Bayern right now if he wanted to be with Gatzer and Lewandowski. But even Matt Summers, man, he said, "Um, yeah, but I'm not leaving nowhere this summer. I'm staying at Dortmund again." But so way that them two seem happy over there. Um, I, I thought they'd get raided this summer. So yeah, considering how they they declined from the season before. Yeah, but he, I mean Liverpool could. I mean they could put a big deal. Like I think it would be a great signing if they could get him. But I just don't. Could, let's be honest. Like they tried. Brandon Rodgers tried to get Sanchez last season. That would have changed up their season, man. Like if he, if they'd got Sanchez, that might have rescued them a good few points. Like last season, that could have changed up a lot. Yeah. That's, See, that's like direct like for like Suarez for Sanchez essentially, isn't it? Like yeah. similar, similar. Yeah, that's the problem with like England football, English football. Like I think our young players get too much too soon, and it's just like it's crushing the incentive. Mm. Like, this guy is now going to be getting what two hundred thousand a week mm. at twenty. Twenty. What? So their young players are going to be thinking like, right? Yeah, I can do the same thing now. Like. Oh, Jordan Ayer, but Liverpool, he looks good. He looks like Sterling did when he first came through. So what? Ayer has a great season at Liverpool this season. What, is he going to be going to get, like, 100,000, like, 150,000, like, next summer? Like, come on, man. What I mean? Mm. You, reckon that, uh, you reckon that Sterling's played the game? Yeah, he has. And I think Liverpool fans ain't too... Dis- they're not there. I think Liverpool fans are quite happy with the money they've received. So... I think I don't I don't know I don't know. 
the I Sterling know. played the game like a snake charmer. He's he's the he's the winner in this situation. Yeah, he is. Sterling is the winner in this situation. I think that's the general consensus, isn't it? That's, 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 For now, yeah. 